imagine you have all this electromagnetic energy below the body of the temple, and then you have that conductive material that it's made of. And also there are other aspects that relate to, to the connection to the, to the cosmos, to the stars. But basically what it does, it just basically like concentrates all this energy and then amplifies it. So the result of that is actually plasma. So there is an emission of plasma from temples and it has been uh, photographed many times. Some of them can appear as orbs. Not all pictures with orbs are real in, in my opinion. Uh, some of them are truly measurable because you can do the following. You can measure in a location, you can have a picture and you can also measure uh, the, the ionization and you can have different kinds of measurements in the air and you will see that it's ionized air, which is this plasma emission. So there has been a lot of studies. I will, I will give you like a very interesting example which is that before earthquakes and during earthquakes, uh, there is a high electromagnetic uh, phenomenon going on. So there has been many, many reports and there are also scientific papers that have um, measured glowing balls of light above the fault. So imagine what I was saying before about the geophysical anomalies. Basically, when you have a fault, you have a discontinuity of conductivity of what I was saying before, because you have one material and then another, and then you have the fault. So on these faults, you have at the time of stress, which is the, the, the earthquake, you have an even more intensified electromagnetic charge, which gets uh, emitted into the air and looks like plasma balls, plasma spheres. A second one, which is very interesting as well, is that apart from all the orbs, pic pictures that we have from temples around the world, um, you have laboratory uh, like tests and measurements that were done, actually putting stress in a, in a crystal, and then on top they had a plasma emission. And um, that's very interesting research because it kind of replicates in, I mean, in a very small scale, what can happen with a temple. I have no data exactly to support that right now, but my feeling is, for example, for the Great Pyramids, that they would probably glow with light in the past. And maybe they would just light up all the area. Um, the science is there, the physics is there, but I don't have any proof to like a picture to show you guys that, okay, look at how it's glowing. Uh, because also today it has lost some of this material.